What's good, YouTube? It's Gabriel, just another fan TV. Back at you another video. Hey, man, if you like the content of my videos, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like the content of the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe. Definitely got more Ravens videos coming. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. So, what are the Ravens' biggest needs, biggest questions ahead of the, the training camp, right? So, training camp is right around the corner. The Ravens rookies report on July 19th. The veterans follow a week after July 26th. So, we're talking about two and a half weeks for the rookies three weeks for the whole team to come together. So even though we're in that slow period, um, where Ravens football is really right on the corner from them getting ramped up for the regular season. All right. Now I did a video before Ravens biggest needs. It was May 2022. So about a month and a half, two months ago. Okay. And the biggest needs really haven't changed much since then. The Ravens, uh, biggest needs I said then were wide receiver, outside linebacker. Now wide receiver, um, I like the young guys. I say this all the time. I want them to see them on the field. I want to see them make plays. But they're lacking in depth. Okay? You got four guys. All right. Bateman. Excuse me. Bateman, Prochet, Wallace, Duvernay. Okay? You still need other people. You're depending on guys like uh, Benjamin Victor and Jalen Moore, guys who have been practice squad, guys who haven't really made a team yet, and, uh, and a whole bunch of undrafted free agents to fill that. They fell out the receiving wrong. Now, the fifth wide receiver is really not a huge deal, but the Ravens are one injury away from being extremely thin in wide receiver, like extremely thin. And it would be almost irresponsible, I think, without signing somebody to bolster the room, okay? Not somebody who's going to take away snaps from the four young guys who we expect to play, but just somebody who gives them more depth in case of an injury, all right? Now, outside linebacker. Outside linebacker is the biggest need on this team. Unfortunately, uh, with the passing Jalen Ferguson, the need only the need only grew larger. It was already a need before his passing, but it's definitely now a need afterwards. All right, so guys like Ben Spiegel, opportunity shot way up. Dalen Hayes, who's been a star of the offseason, his opportunity goes way up even more than it was already going up. All right, now, Adafi Owe is here. We expect a big year, too, from Adafi Owe, of course, but... Who's on the opposite side? You know, David Ojabo, Tyus Bowser, guys who both have Achilles injuries, who are going to be out at least the first four to six weeks of the season. So the Ravens still have a big hole right there. All right. They signed, only thing the Ravens have done between the video I made in May and now is sign Stephen Means. Stephen Means is, is a journeyman pass rusher. He's been with the Falcons, I believe, the last four seasons. And before that, he was drafted by the Buccaneers. He's been on the Eagles. He's been on a couple of different teams, a couple of different spots. He's never really stuck anywhere. His career high is three sacks, which he got in 2020. Last year, he played, uh, I believe, like 14 games, had no sacks, okay, while playing almost 70% of the snaps, all right? So he's not a guy that I would say adds to the pass rush run in any, in any particular way. Now, the Ravens also have undrafted free agents at that position, a guy that sticks out, a guy who's been making plays apparently in the previous mini camps, things like that, Jeremiah Moon, all right? Will um, now the Ravens always have undrafted free agents who make the roster? Will a guy like Jeremiah Moon be one of those guys to make the team? It's a possibility. But the Ravens have a distinct um, hole right there outside the America that they have to address. They cannot go into the season and say that we have the guys. You just can't do it. Now, what can they do? Um, they brought in Jason Pierre Paul for a, a, a visit. Okay. Obviously, the visit went well. No, no visits really go bad with free agents like that. Um, but he, has, he hasn't been signed. Now, this could be a couple things. One, they're waiting until he's personally waiting until training camp is kind of midway through or almost over. A lot of veterans, especially when they get to his age, he's 33 years old, don't want to go through training camp anymore. They're over it. They're done with that. Okay. Or the Ravens could just not be choosing to sign him or he could just not be choosing to sign with the Ravens. All right. Now, also, the obvious guy that's out there is Justin Houston. Ravens have that unrestricted free agent tender on Justin Houston, which I believe comes up July 22nd. So I think if he's not signed with the team by then, I believe that he either has to play for the Ravens or retire. I believe that's the um, the way it goes. Somebody can correct me on that in the comments. Um, so those are the guys that's the options, right? And while it's not the greatest thing in the world, but these are two guys who are proven. I would love to see both guys brought in, if I'm being completely honest. That's how much I think the Ravens need. Especially with Ojabo and Bowser being out for at least the first four to six weeks of the season. Maybe even eight weeks, okay? 
Um, they're coming along great in their recovery, but Achilles injuries are still tricky. I know we saw what Cam Akers did, but Achilles injuries are still a tricky injury. Um, so the Ravens, the same weaknesses that they had in May, they have now. But the outside linebacker one, it just got bigger, honestly. So the Ravens can go into the season, or not go into the season, I'm sorry, go into training camp with the wide receiver room, how they want to play, how they want to have it. They can see these guys make plays during training camp and decide from there whether or not they want to bring somebody else in like a veteran. They can do that. Outside linebacker, they cannot do that. Outside linebacker, they need to sign somebody, maybe even two people to help with that room to help get, um, have enough people in there, all right, to feel confident. Now, the Ravens have a good roster overall at every, pretty much every position except for these two spots. These are the two spots where it's like, uh, this is a little fishy, a little shaky. So the Ravens can do anything at outside linebacker um, like a Jason Pierre-Paul, like a Justin Houston. I would feel a lot better about, what, about where we're headed at going into training camp. Um, wide receiver is going to be wide receiver. All right. Like I said, I like the young guys. I want to see them play. I want to see how they do. But I think they need bodies just from the sake of depth. They're one injury away of wide receiver from really being in a great, great position. Um, so that's my opinion on that. It's not about do I like the guys, do I, not, do I not trust the guys? Both. I like them, I trust them, but they just need more people there. Outside linebacker, they need more people there, period. Okay, so um, that's my view on the Ravens right now as far as their biggest needs going into training camp. Now, obviously, things can change mighty quickly. They can sign somebody tomorrow, but... I think the Ravens are going to let it, rock, let, let it play out for a little bit and then sign somebody. So that's my view on it, man. Um, and I think they have to get something done. They just have to. It's your boy Gabriel. Just on this fan TV. I'm out.